what's going on? It's your girl Ty here with Dance for Together Individual Entertainment. Okay, so uh, first of all, I need to apologize if I'm a little behind schedule on my podcasting and stuff like that. Yes, I'm sort of on time for my YouTube videos and stuff like that, but as my podcast, I've been a little preoccupied for the weekends and stuff like that because of the whole... Uh, Halloween deal of scare at the end and all that other stuff. Okay, so today we get into chapter 6 of Magic Tree House 30 Haunted Castle on Hollow's Eve. So let's begin. Here we go. Chapter 6 Merlin's Diamond. Jack and Teddy were speechless. They kept staring at Annie as she got down on her knees and talked to the invisible dog. Hi, you, she said in a soft voice. Are you hungry? The bone dropped toward the floor. It flipped over, then rocked from side to side. See, Annie, said to Jack and Teddy. Now he's rolling on his back with his bone in his mouth. Poor thing, poor thing, said Jack. We have to help him, said Annie. She stood up. We have to help them, too? The girl and her brothers? She hurried across the room. Jack and Teddy followed Annie, stopped at the small spinning wheel. We can't see you, said Annie, but we're not afraid of you. We want to help you. Can you hear me? The spinning wheel stopped. Spinning? She can hear us. Annie said to Jack and Teddy. Annie turned back to the ghost girl. What happened to you and your brothers and your dog and everyone else in the castle? How did you all become invisible? Jack felt a wave of cold air whoosh past him. I think she's moving, said Annie. I, said Teddy, to the looking glass seat, an invisible finger had begun to write something in the thick dust of the mirror. Four words slowly appeared. Diamond of... Destiny stolen. Diamond of Destiny stolen. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I can't believe it, said Teddy. This must be the secret castle that the guards of Diamond of Destiny. What's that? said Jack. A magic diamond that belonged to Merlin, said Teddy. It was said to handle of the very sword King Arthur pulled from the stone many years ago. Oh, I know that story, said Annie. That's how Arthur became king. Yes, said Teddy. And someday, the Diamond of Destiny will give the same strength and power to the next rightful ruler of Camelot. That's what Merlin must have meant when he said, The future of Camelot depends on us, said Annie. Indeed, said Teddy. Wait, wait, said Jack. I'm confused. What does the Diamond of Destiny have to do with invisible kids and dogs? After... Arthur became king. Merlin gave him the diamond to a noble family of Camelot, said Teddy. The name of the family was kept secret. As long as the family kept the diamond safe, they would have good fortune. But she, but should they fail to protect it, they would fade on her from life. Oh, so the family let the diamond get stolen, said Annie. And now they're all turning to ghosts. Precisely, said Teddy. I wonder where the diamond was kept, said Jack. Good question, said Teddy. Certainly some special hiding place, perhaps, in one of the towers. Guys, look, said Annie. She pointed into the wall near the mirror. A long, heavy tapestry had been pulled aside to reveal a small door in the stone wall. The door was slowly swinging open. The ghost girl, said Annie, she's only showing us Diamond Secret's hiding place. The three of them hurried into the stone wall and looked inside a tiny cabinet. The walls of the cabinet were made of gold and ivory, but the cabinet was empty. Annie looked around. Ghost girl, she said. Who stole the diamond of destiny from its hiding place? Letters began to appear in the mirror again. In the thick dust, the invisible finger wrote, The Raven. Oh no, whispered Teddy. Please, no, Jack felt a fresh wave of fear. Oh no, please, no, what? He said. Wait, said Teddy. Pointing at the mirror, the finger wrote one more word in the dust. King, just as I fear, the Teddy, in a hushed voice, the Raven King. Ooh, now it's really getting interesting. But we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to see what happens next in the story of Chapter 7 on October 17th. Okay, so in the meantime, this is Ty saying, oh, and before I go, I want to remind you guys that this week and next week is the upcoming extended day of Kenny Wood Fan Fall Fest. Thursday nights, 6 to 11. And I really do want to remind you guys to advise this seriously. Don't bring your kids on Thursday nights. 
do not bring your kids our elementary through high school because it's a school night. You probably have rehearsal, practice, day before a game, a competition, whatever. Don't do it. Okay? Just let your college and university and adult level people know, kids or whatever, let them know there's an extension. But, as I said before, don't bring your elementary through high school levels. It's a school night. So, this is Ty saying, Happy Halloween! Bye-bye!